Today we're turning the Nerf Rival into a Gel Blaster. And if you want to win this Gel Blaster right here, make sure to watch all the way through the video. But Mr. F.E., how are you going to do that? How in the world are you going to take something that shoots a one inch ball and make it shoot something so small? Have I got a surprise for you guys? You may already know they make something called Jumbo Orbeez or Jumbo Water Balls or whatever you want to call them. They make them in jumbo size and I found them on Amazon so I ordered a couple of bags but unfortunately they don't all come perfectly round. So we have to sort through them first of all to find the most perfectly round ones and then we have to do something called a controlled grow. What a controlled grow is basically keeping my eye on them as they grow to stop them at a size that's about this big. You know what I'm saying? All right, so I measured these little Nerf balls and they come out to about 22 millimeters. So I know that I need to get those gelettes to about 22 millimeters. But I'm thinking I may make them a little bit smaller. How the Nerf Rival works is it has a little conveyor belt that pushes these foam balls into these spinning wheels that then squishes it down to about yay big and then fires it out the barrel. So I'm thinking to keep the gelettes from bursting inside of the gun, I'm gonna go ahead and make them a little bit smaller than 22 millimeters. That way they don't have to squish down as much and hopefully they'll fire out as a full gelette ball. Okay, so I have a gelette that is almost exactly the same size as one of these foam balls. But as you can see, it's a little bit more squishy than the foam ball. I think it'll be able to squish down enough to fire through the two spinning motors and out of the front of the barrel fully intact. But the only way we're gonna know that is we're gonna go ahead and give it a test. Okay, we've got one single jumbo Orby. This is what we're gonna go ahead and load inside of the Nerf Rival right now. Put this inside of the Nerf Rival and as you can see, it's on the tracks right there. Can you see that? It's on the tracks right there. We got to close this up. Let's see if, okay, we're going to load up the motors and then we're going to fire it right here. See if we can catch it on camera. Ooh. All right, so it completely disintegrated that Orby, like just, poof, just shot it out in pieces, all right? What I think we have to do here now is make the Orbeez actually smaller and I do have some smaller in there because they all turned out like a little bit different sizes. So we're going to get a smaller one now and give that a test, see if it fires out a little easier, you know? All right, this is test fire number two. We've got a smaller Orby and hopefully this will go through the wheels without squishing it. Close it up. Wind up the motors. Huh, it's gone. I think the Nerf Rival ate it. Test number three, it's a little bit smaller than the first one, but bigger than the second one, and hopefully it doesn't go ghost on us. All right, you guys can see here's a Orby. We are dropping it inside right now and it just rolled down the front. Let me see. Okay, it's sitting right up against the motors. If you, got, if you can get a look in there. Can you see that in there? Sitting right up against the motors in there. So as soon as I turn this on, we should start to see it go forward. I heard it. And there it goes on the ground. Dang it! Dang it. All right, test number three was not so successful. So what I propose we do is just load the hopper down with gelettes or giant jumbo Orbeez. We're gonna load it down and we're gonna put it in there and we're just gonna fire this thing rapid fire and uh, we're gonna see what it does. <laughs> All right. So test one, two, and three were a little iffy and it definitely broke the balls, but we got this thing fully slap full with jumbo Orbeez and we're gonna go ahead and just rapid fire the crap out of it. Three, two, one. <laughs> All right, you know what guys? It's just not working. 
it's not working. I can throw harder than that. How about that, huh? Giant Orbeez gun. Yeah. How about that? Take that. Take that crap. You want to try some here? Yeah, yeah. I'll let you try some. Chuck it. Chuck it. See these Orbeez guys? Well, I think that concludes our Nerf Rival conclusion. You cannot turn a Nerf Rival into a gel blaster because the gel balls are just too soft. But you know what you can turn into a gel blaster? A subscribe. Uh, hey, Austin of the future, can you go ahead and explain how you can win a free gel blaster just by subscribing? Well, thank you, Austin of the past. Pretty, pretty funny guy there. <laughs> Today's gel blaster giveaway sponsor is Awiwa or Awewa, whatever, however you want to pronounce that. This is the gel blaster we're giving away in this video, guys. To win this gel blaster, all you have to do is comment down below, Mr. Fe, and like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you do those two things because if you just comment and you don't like and subscribe, you cannot win this gel blaster right here. And this is the winner of last week's gel blaster. Make sure to message me on Instagram, TikTok, or Facebook, and I'll get back to you and send this out to you in the mail. But wait, guys, I have another giveaway today, and it's something special. Give, give me one second. I'll be giving away one of these unlocked pistols. It's a yellow one. Guys, this thing reminds me of Bumblebee. And who doesn't want a gel blaster that reminds them of B B B Bumblebee? Anyways, all you have to do to win this gel blaster is go check out the merch shop down below. The FE Clan merch shop and a limited edition Good Vibes Baby merch. All you have to do is look down below this video. You'll see my merchandise available for you to purchase. The first five people to purchase some of that merch get entered to win this gel blaster. So basically, that is a one in five chances that you will win this gel blaster. And all you have to do is purchase some amazing merch that you can wear every day and rep the FE Clan or Good Vibes Baby. Well, let's uh, get back to the the old me or the new me whichever one you prefer Ugh. stupid gelettes well I figure since you guys didn't get to see the giant Orby shoot out of this nerf rival I'll at least show you how it actually works with the uh, nerf bullets in it if you've never seen one of these before it's pretty freaking cool let's do it <laughs> Now obviously the only downer about having something that shoots foam bullets at is you have to go pick up everything after you're done. So I have about a hundred bullets to go pick up. Watch this video and this video. We'll see you guys next time.